Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, for this um, refresher session. I know um, quite a number of people um, have already gone through this session before, but um, requested that we have a follow-up session um, just to um, clarify some things. Um, so we're having this session. We also have um, some mentors that we are um, using this as an opportunity to also on board you. Um, welcome to everyone. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for volunteering your time. Um, we'll just give everyone a few seconds or a few minutes to join us. Um, we'll probably start at 2.05 um, um, West African time.
Okay, good afternoon again, everyone. Um, so we're just going to go ahead. Um, I'm happy everyone is here. Um, everyone is able to join us. Um, this is actually um, um, a very, very, <laughs> will I say a very interesting period for us at the foundation because um, tomorrow um, we plan to onboard the entrepreneurs onto the uh, mentorship program as well. So we wanted to onboard you all first um, and then just give you directions on what to do next, um, where to go to. And then um, um, we now expect that, you know, after that you will be able to um, engage the entrepreneurs um, who now will be considered your mentees. Um, so I will just um, go straight into it so that, you know, we are not um, um, we're not wasting anyone's time. You know, you all are very busy people and I want to ensure that, you know, you guys like are able to receive all the information you need. Um, I, I need to be able to manage your expectations because you are actually volunteering your time and your expertise um, to help us support, guide and, you know, nurture um, African entrepreneurs who are going to go into the world to, um, to do great things, basically. Um, so first of all, um, before I start, um, I, ju I just want to go through what the format of this um, session is going to be like. Um, so I have my colleagues with me who are going to um, briefly introduce themselves. And then um, once they do that, I will um, start to present the slides. Um, I will just say that um, after the presentation, um, we would have um, a Q&A session where you can now, you know, um, ask the questions you need to ask. Um, anything that is not, or you feel like I didn't cover during the session, you can ask the question and I will be able to provide answers. And if we um, are running above time, um, just to, you know, res um, respect everybody's um, busy schedules, um, we will send out, you um, um, another newsletter with the link. The last link that was sent out turns out um, our YouTube um, streamer had a bit of issues that we had no idea of. But thanks to you guys, we were able to notice that and actually fix that. But we would always have this session recorded so that you can always refer refer to it. And those of you who are familiar with our processes already know that you will receive um, the handbook, you receive the um, guidelines, you receive your contracts, and you receive links to all the necessary resources that will help you through the program. So I'll just quickly start with my colleagues, um, Onyechi and Chinavia, please introduce yourselves. Hi everybody. My name is Munichi and I'm part of the TF team. So, okay, so it's nice meeting you guys today. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chin Nabia. Chin Nabia, it's Igbo for God is coming. So I'm a graduate trainee assigned with TF Alumni and Mentorship, and I'm happy to be here to do this session to learn from you all and you know work with the team better. Thank you. Okay. Um, so now that you've met my colleagues. Um, I, I guess we can go straight into it. So I will start to share my screen now. And um, one second, please. And if you're able to um, see my screen, please just indicate by typing in the chat box. Are you all able to see my screen? Okay. 
Okay. Um, okay. So I'll just go straight into it. Um, the the like I said, the purpose of this. Um, I, I think I've already explained um, why we do this. Most of you received that in the emails that I sent to you when you were onboarding, or in subsequent emails where I just you know, try to remind you of how much um, we find your commitment and your um, your dedication to our course very, very invaluable. Like it's, I mean, it's not every day that you find people, um, you know, who have enough experience, who have expertise, who are very, very busy executives, you know, actually take time out to um, want to um, help the next person or support the next person. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that we, we um, that is very dear to us. So um, the way the handbook is going, um, well, the way the handbook is divided is that, you know, we first talk about why we are doing this. So the tier vision, the mission and our pillars. Um, and then we will talk about the mental guilt, um, which is part of what you all are, and the honor code, um, basically code of conduct, um, how we um, expect you to, you know, engage with each other engage with the entrepreneurs engage with us and to be very honest we would not ask you to do something that we will not do ourselves um, and then also um, the actual handbook when it goes out to you all will contain relevant links and resources that you need so the reporting templates links to um, the platform in case you <laughs> maybe forget or something um, anything that you um, or that we feel that you need um, is, it would basically be like your guide your FAQs documents so that if you have any um, doubts about anything you can just refer to it and you'll be able to clear your doubts Okay, so the first part is, um, I'm sure quite a number of people are familiar with, um, you know, the TF mission, what we're trying to do, but for those of you who are not very familiar, it is, as it says on the screen, we are on a mission to catalyze youth entrepreneurship and wealth uh, by creating millions of jobs um, and contributing billions of dollars in revenue, um, you know, to ensure that you know, there's prosperity for all across the continent. And so far we have been able to, you know, make quite a bit of impact because our original goal, our original objective was, was um, our original objectives um, was to do um, 10,000 over 10 years, which was 1,000 a year. Um, however, due to the impact that we've made, um, you know, people being able to see what we're doing, we have been able to bring on board partners who have helped us, you know, um, surpass one aspect of our um, goal. But, you know, we're still looking at the other aspects, which is also um, um, creating more jobs and generating more um, um, economic income, just to ensure that, you know, everyone is able to be on the same level at some point. So we're trying to um, level the playing field for the average African who is not um, able to um, who is not able to access funds um, or able to access um, you know the kind of opportunities that would help them get to the next level. Um, so. <laughs> Um, I will first start with when the foundation was founded, even though I know this jumps straight into um, the entrepreneurship program, um, but quite a number of people don't know that before the current program, this, I mean, this wasn't what we always used to do. We, the foundation was launched in 2010, and we had various programs beforehand. Um, for about four years, we had um, an African marketplace internship program where we, um, you know, we placed um, Niger, not Nigerian, African entrepreneurs or young um, aspiring entrepreneurs who are in diaspora. We placed them in like different ministries, different companies here, so that they could, you know, use the knowledge that they acquired there, and you know, use that to improve processes here, use that to disrupt things here. I mean. I mean, just basically helping them um, find a way to be able to give back to their home, give back to their community. Um, we also had the um, fellows, the Tony Elimelo Fellows, um, which 
the same acronym for TF actually. Um, uh, this was a number of people who came together to create something like a manifesto on how you know entrepreneurship is going to play out across the continent, and you know they have gone on to. Um, to, to actually execute this manifesto in different ways. Some of them are on the board of trustees of the foundation, some of them are on the board of trustees of UBA. Um, but in everything they are doing, they're ensuring that the average African is able to access opportunities that they most likely normally would not be able to access. Um, then we also had the Tony and Awili um, um, graduate prize winners. Um, this was, um, you know, um, a program that we also run concurrently with the others, where we identified um, you know, top performing students from across different um, universities across the continent, and you know we were able to give them um, a prize of either one million or the equivalent of one million and this was like <laughs> this was years ago and you know it, the, these entrepreneurs of well, these uh, young brilliant individuals were able to go on and do great things i'm sure the nigerian the nigerians here would know um someone like cracks tv for example um you know we're able to um give him that seed that he was able to use to go on and do um other things um but yes in 2015 and i don't want to go into the specifics of what was like the what was that eureka moment that made us um, actually um, put this program together. But in 2015, we decided to have a more structured approach of empowering Africans, of empowering um, not, not just Africans, but even making the impact across the continent. Um, we developed an entrepreneurship program um, and we decided to take a holistic approach um, towards um, empowering these entrepreneurs. Um, we had to take a lot of things into consideration. We had to take into consideration the terrain, the African terrain. Um, Africa is an emerging market and there are a lot of voids and gaps. And But you find that that, that is what makes um, you know, the average African as dogged and as smart and, you know, as <laughs> optimistic as they are. The, um, the, 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 the average African is not born in comfort or, you know, they, they don't have, like, they're not able to access, like, the basic amenities that is owed to every human. And that puts some kind of drive in them. It pushes them to, you know, actually address solutions, make an impact and so on. And um, taking all of that into consideration, we um, created our seven pillars. Um, um, and these pillars actually guide everything we do in conjunction with um, our founder's principle, which is also our guiding principle um, of Afro-capitalism. Um, basically, Afro-capitalism is predicated on the belief that um, the private sector, that's entrepreneurship, the private sector um, plays a very, very critical role in unlocking wealth um, across the continent. So we're not saying that, you know, the private sector should take over everything. But what we're saying is that the private sector and the public sector should partner some more um, for, you know, for the good of the continent, so it, it's actually improved the quality of our lives and actually be able to make sustainable transformation because yes, the public sector covers, you know, various parts um, like major infrastructure, like healthcare, education and so on. The private sector also um, should play a huge role in maintenance because I mean, maintenance culture across Africa is very interesting. Um, okay, so back to um, our seven pillars. The first pillar um, is TF Connect. Um, TF Connect originally was called TF Hub, and it was just a platform where um, you know we used to conduct our trainings. We were able to reach out to entrepreneurs. They were to you know meet each other, and then every day we kept on watching how engaged our entrepreneurs were and you know how they were talking to each other coaching each other and so on and it the, i mean obviously we we just had to look properly at it and see how much of um how much of an impact it can make on our entire program and i will say today without tf connect tf connect used to be like a byproduct of our program but 
Today, our program cannot even exist without TF Connect, and that is a testament of where the world is going to now. Um, so, there were, I, I mean, everyone is aware of what happened in 2020 when there was a global pandemic and, you know, every physical activity stopped. But it was easy for us to keep going, even though we postponed our program, you know, in in, in respect to, you know, everyone and what everyone was going, what the world was going through. But, you know, we were able to still keep other things going, still put out opportunities, still run, basically run our, um, the other aspects of our program because there was TF Connect. And that is what we're trying to do with TF Connect. We are trying to break barriers with TF Connect. We are trying to ensure that, you know, at the touch of a button, um, entrepreneurs across Africa can talk to themselves, engage themselves, partner with themselves, coach themselves, you know, do things, meet up, do whatever it is they want to do without the inconvenience of intra-African travel. And I will tell you, intra-African travel is, wow. <laughs> um, so TF Connect, everything else that I'm going to mention after TF Connect, everything is all functional right now because of TF Connect. We have phased away almost all our physical engagements. So the next pillar is the six weeks um, business training. Um, it's a management training um, that we deploy also virtually. Um, and I mean, we understand that it's one thing to inject funds into the business of an entrepreneur, but if they don't know anything about financial management, talent management, customer service, all of that, the business is not going to survive. So we ensure that they first go through the training and they demonstrate that they have now, or they now have the capacity to run a business. And how do we track this? We track this on TF Connect, we track their performance on TF Connect. Um, the next aspect is the TF Forum. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the TF Forum. Um, it used to be a physical forum, but um, lately we have still taken our engagement online, like I said. Um, so we're still doing what we're doing in this area in the sense that um, we still have the, um, you know, the policy and advocacy aspects where we bring on people who can effect changes in different places, bring them on, you know, invite entrepreneurs from their countries, regions, cities, you know, and prep the entrepreneurs to ask questions that are really affecting their businesses, questions that will ensure that they're able to have an enabling um, business environment so that they can thrive. And then we also remind them to hold these people accountable because at the end of the day, we are meant to hold, um, you know, people who have promised, um, you know, to lead us, we're meant to hold them accountable. Um, and then um, there's the seed capital aspect. The seed capital aspect um, encompasses a lot of things. So first, after the um, training, um, we now have, well, this is something that we implemented last year, even though we used to have it years before, but it used to be something that was part of the TF forum. But since we no longer have the TF forum, we pulled it out and then put it into our program and actually it serves to improve our program and um, our entrepreneurs are better for it. Um, so we have the pitching competition, that's what we're talking about. So the pitching competition where our entrepreneurs get to pitch their businesses um, for up to four minutes to a panel of judges. Some of you here um, were part of the judges last year who helped us traditionally review videos, uh, give your feedback, ranked them, scored them, and you know, so on. Uh, some of you went above and beyond, and we are very, very, very still appreciative of that. Um, so yes, we have that, and we also understand that, that that's where the world is moving now. Um, you will almost never hear that you know any entrepreneur is receiving funds without you know pitching first, like actually um, showing that you know they understand what their business is about, showing that they were the ones that wrote their business plan, like you know tying things together. Um, because to be fair honest, every CEO is actually a marketer. That's where it starts from. Um, CEOs want no marketers need to learn that skill, but that is one major skill. And pitching is actually marketing. It's just very fast marketing. Um, so there's the seed capital aspect um, um, coupled with the business plan development and submission, um, which, like I said, um, um, our judges reviewed the pitching competition last year, um, the pitch videos. But this year we are um, reverting to our previous um, 
process of employing the services of one of the big four audit firms um, to review it so that they can conduct um, an objective and you know um, very well informed um, analysis um, of the business plans and the pitch videos that are being submitted. Once um, this um, company provides us with the list um, of the entrepreneurs um, as well as their performance, um, we now select the number of entrepreneurs that you know we wish to fund for that year. And I will say that you know our funding, um, our funding um, process is also dependent on one, the, well, the first thing is performance. And two, we have partners and our partners are, you know, focused in on different areas. We are sector agnostic, everything agnostic, like we are just looking for, you know, the first 1000 people, but our partners are looking for certain things that we also, I mean, we entered into partnership with them and we understand it's just that, we ensure that we make sure that it's the most deserving people, the top performers at the end of the day that still receive, that still get to the top of our partners list. So um, if our partner wants, um, you know, female agribusiness owners in a certain region, we'll look for the top performers there and present them to our partners and so on. And we have quite a number of partners. As, uh, as some of you may know, um, last year we were able to fund up to 5,000 entrepreneurs, the, the largest one we've ever done, which is, that's like even half of our full commitment. Um, so yes, so once the entrepreneurs are funded, they are now inducted into the alumni network, um, which is what I said I will be doing tomorrow. <laughs> so they're inducted into the alumni network and, you know, they are now, they're now basically um, lifelong members of the TF network. Like they, we're not letting them go. Um, but, you know, some of you here are also alumni and, um, we understand that you know our alumni are also ready to go to the next step to become mentors to guide people because you've you've done it um, you know the terrain you know how it works you know the processes you have the contacts that they may need um, so we now have the mentoring um, aspect as well which ties into the alumni um, network. So one for mentors, we have some mentors who are alumni, and then we have the uh, mentees who are now alumni, you know, also engaging with them. And then um, these mentors, you all um, are, you know, dedicated to ensuring that, you know, they're able to, their businesses are able to thrive, they're able to go to the next step that they need to get to for their businesses. And the last aspect is meetups. Um, we have meetups um, in different ways. You know, we, we actually take this very, very seriously because we believe no man is an island, nothing can happen in isolation. Um, from our training aspects, in fact, no, from the applications. So even for application drives, we always bring people together, even our entrepreneurs, our mentors, they bring people together um, who, you know, get to meet each other, um, get to brainstorm, uh, you know, how to go about the application process, same for the training, um, same for even the pitching competition and all of that. You know, we always, we always encourage um, our entrepreneurs to, uh, you know, meet other people, um, share ideas, receive ideas, be open to everything. It's in that process that you find out who can invest in your business, who can partner with you, who is a potential clients who you can mentor you know there's so many things you can do around that and your network continues to expand and you know what they say about your network it is your network okay so um moving on to the uh, as next aspect um second please okay so why be a tf network uh, this is um, a flyer that uh, uh, has been going around this flyer and a couple of flyers. Um, but it just talks about the few um, um, benefits of being a mentor. And my colleagues are also going to uh, also chip in what they're going to or what their suggestions are um, for being um, a TF mentor. Um, so the first aspect is um, expanding your network. Like I said, once again, your network is your net worth. 
um, there's so many things that, you know, there's so many opportunities for you to meet with, um, like I said, potential partners, investors, um, change makers, policy makers, captains of industries, just from, you know, participating in our events, participating in our initiatives. And this is why we always encourage people to, um, you know, we always encourage people, our entrepreneurs and mentors to be responsive to, you know, our calls for applications for anything. Um, usually what we do, we, what, the one thing we know how to do is to promote you, we know how to promote you, we know how to promote your business. And um, we have a huge following across most of our social media platforms. So imagine what kind of visibility that can bring for you. That's, that's a huge thing. And also um, the next benefit is um, boosting, um, your capabilities. So I always say that mentorship is not a one-way thing. It's a two-way thing. The same way um, your mentee is learning from you, that's the same way you're learning from your um, mentee because there sometimes your mentee may ask a question that you didn't realize that you knew or you didn't realize that you should know or you need to know. Um, they just wake up some part of your mind that you're like, oh, wow, um, I need to do some more research on this. And that way you're actually you're developing yourself, you're growing yourself, or maybe, you know, you they ask a question, you're like, just hold on, give me 24 hours, I'll get back to you, you know, and you um, get back to them. Um, so that, that that would actually also help you. It's something that, it, it, I mean, yes, you have your business, you have work and so on, but, you know, also helping other people, helping others can be very, very, it can be, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, there's just something about it that brings more value to your life. It makes you more valuable to humanity. And the last aspect that I will speak of is um, becoming certified. So um, just as we um, um, provided our judges from last year with certificates, despite the many um, technical challenges, um, we will be um, um, issuing certificates to our judges, which you will be able to tender anywhere and show that you are, um, sorry, we'll be issuing certificates to our mentors, which will be able to tender anywhere and show that you are a TF mentor. So I'll just pause right now and my colleagues, Chinabia and Umie, will share one benefit each uh, that, you know, that they are going to work on. Uh, that will be very, very um, useful to our mentors. Thank you. Okay. Um... Good afternoon again, everyone. My name is Chinabia, like I said earlier. Chinabia is Igbo for God is coming. Now I've been thinking hard, of course, someone even asked if we will be paid, we won't be paid in cash. But I'm sure the benefits we're going to gain from this will be better than cash. So um, one of the suggestions I have is brand PR. Now we know most of you, or if not all of you are entrepreneurs, you have areas where you specialize in, we have sectors where you specialize in. Now imagine the lead champion of entrepreneurship, promoting your brand out there for the whole of Africa to see what you do, what you enterprise in. It would be good. It would be a nice benefit for visibility. If you have good ideas, great plans, you have things you've invented, things you feel you want the world to know about and see about and to, you know, know you for, I'm sure TEF will be glad to associate with you after we've critically reviewed and seen that, yes, this is worth it, this is worth you know, promoting. Of course, we'll do the necessary, would be your backing, we'll promote you out there to the world and to our network as well. So I'm sure that's a worthy benefit.
Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Can you? Okay, my name is Onyechi once again. So I would like to talk on another benefit of being a mentor. Now, you are also one of the benefits that we are also put together because, as Moyo has shared, we have forums and new forums to help. We have one of our some of these conferences we can get. Okay, sorry for sorry for interrupting. Okay, I was talking about the conferences that we have. So we gives you the opportunity to be on some conferences we have have the opportunity to attend the meetings we can help you as a business person you can give you information on how to develop your career as a premium. So that's one benefit you can get. Okay, so uh, thank you, Nye, and thank you, Chinabia. Um, sorry, we had a deal technical challenges there, but um, like my colleagues both mentioned, we are constantly, constantly, constantly looking for ways to, um, you know, also promote you, also provide you with benefits because what you're doing um, is very, very priceless to us. So moving on to the next slide. Um, I'll just give an overview of the Mentor Guild. Um, so the Mentor Guild is um, a network of um, experienced um, individuals like yourselves who have um, who are either running businesses or are you know working in the corporate environment, and you know you all have um, expertise in different areas. Some of you are generalists, some of you are specialists in certain industries, which is all fine. Um, and this is why um, our mentor mentee matching is always. Um, Either three um, three mentors to one entrepreneur. That means one entrepreneur can have up to three mentors, and um, one mentor can have no more than five mentees. It can be less, um, or the maximum is five. And you are um, going to be matched with your mentees based on um, interests, language, industry, um, and this is so that well the interest part is really. 
um, so that you know the entrepreneur might decide that you know they want to um, veer into different areas. They're not sure about it yet, but they would like to um, talk with someone, shadow the person, um, you know, learn from the person to see if that is an area that they should pursue. Um, also. Um, you know, we will match based on industry because, I mean, that is very, very important. Um, and then language sometimes just because, you know, um, if there is some kind of language barrier, perhaps one entrepreneur is matched with three mentors or French speaking, but one is very, very proficient um, in the French language. Um, you know, sometimes they just want to match with that person so that they can talk and maybe the person can help them really um, some things because we understand that, I mean, um, the, the, there are over a thousand languages spoken across Africa, but, you know, these four languages are the ones that um, everyone has been um, kind of forced to learn. Um, so, um, for example, in Nigeria, we have a lot of languages, but um, people think there are about three or four major um languages in addition to English then yeah so um we try to ensure that or we um first of all it's it's very very imperative that you know whatever engagement you have with your mentee takes place on the platform and I will take you through the platform um it's very very imperative um first of all that's the only way we can track it and to be very honest if we can't track your progress or your activities or anything um, we cannot, um, you know, in good faith or in good judgment, um, issue a certificate and say that you've met all our requirements and say that you've done everything, um, you know, that um, we have um, required of you as a mentor who is guiding a mentee. Um, we, we ask that, you know, you ensure that you spend a minimum of two hours a month with your mentee on the platform. Um, this will ensure that, um, you know, you are at least able to um, connect with them on some level. Um, so you can break down the two hours any way you want to. It can be um, 30 minutes a week for four weeks. It can be one hour every two weeks. And it can be the entire two weeks as a stretch. But, um, you know, just come on the platform because that is where the mentee will submit their goals. And so on. that's where you both will agree on the goal um, performance and so on. And then, you know, because um, we, we, we are trying to ensure this because entrepreneurship is a very um, delicate area, especially in emerging markets like Africa. Uh, you know, um, our, our, our terrain is um, quite different and we want to ensure that, you know, our mentors actually, actually, actually do engage with the mentees. Um, if you make a connection with a mentee and you feel like, okay, you know what, this is not the right connection for me, maybe the mentee is not so responsive or anything like that, um, you actually have the option to um, cancel the connection. And, you know, you can cancel your connections up to three times, after which, uh, to be very honest, we'll have to step in and say, okay, what's going on? You know, and just, uh, okay, see, and then maybe like manually, search because that's that's just a waste of time if you're having to cancel connections every time then we can now ask you okay what exactly are you looking for um we may not know the qualities but we would know everything else so maybe you're looking for someone from your state tribals so even though we actually we, are, we normally do not gear towards that so we are trying to foster um you know um collaboration global collaboration because our mental guild is um you know comprises of individuals from across the globe, not Africa. Yes, our entrepreneurs are African entrepreneurs, but our mentors are from across the globe. So um, we want that, we want that um, inclusivity, we want that exposure for our mentees. Uh, we believe it's very helpful. And we believe, I mean, it's a help, you know, people um, who are not indigenous to really understand what, you know, the situation is like for us here. And it's also help our entrepreneurs know what they can aspire to, what is normal, what they should expect, and why they should hold people, um, their leaders accountable. So um, we just, you know, this um, being a mentor in an entrepreneurship program like ours, actually, being our entrepreneurship program mentor, um, you know, it's, it's 
it's very um it's i mean i don't want to say it's not an easy fit but you know it's going to we we encourage that you make it more formal than um you know informal informal is nice but um just to um ensure that now i'll be going into the um honor code next but just to ensure that you know there's no breach of trust or anything um we, we, we advise that it should be more um, formal than informal yes you can make a joke there or there but you know um it's be great to make it informal one um so this is the tf honor code so the first aspect is technical standards i'm sorry ethical standards um so we do not tolerate discrimination of any kind. We do not tolerate discrimination of any kind. Um, I mean, in May, I mean, we understand that Africa, actually, and this is actually for our African mentors, Africa is a place where, you know, people demand respect sometimes without even giving respect. But here at the Tony Min Foundation and being an ambassador of the Tony Min Foundation, being a member of the TEF Mentor Guild, um, we expect that you imbibe our culture our, and our values. We do not discriminate against anyone based on gender, race, ethnicity, nationality, um, sexual orientation, anything. We are very neutral. We're, like, we're very neutral in this area. We do not, and um, we, we, we would not um, tolerate anyone doing that form of discrimination. Um, and actually here, I mean, here in Nigeria, we see what, you know, that kind of discrimination does and, you know, how it divides the country and all of that. We are trying to build an ecosystem, a sustainable ecosystem, so there will be no discrimination. Um, then the next one is conflict of interest. Um, so we are, um, we are um, urging all our mentors to not conducts in any manner or any way that can bring disrepute to us. Um, our, uh, as a not-for-profit organization, you understand that it is very, very easy for um, organizations like this to be targeted because um, it's it's a um, it's there's a general misconception out there that you know not-for-profit organizations um, you know are very susceptible to um, money laundering um, individuals and you know maybe terrorist funding and so on. Um, we do not want, um, we, we are actually <laughs> demanding that our mentors do not act in any way that would, um, you know, bring the foundation's name and brand to disrepute. disrepute. And this also um, involves, you know, going on social media to air any complaints or anything like that. There is a channel through which, you know, you can, um, you know, air grievances and all of that. And, you know, the last time I spoke to you guys, I was alone in this department and I'm sure you guys saw me like about to pass out. But now I have my colleagues in me and, you know, the foundation is a bit better resource right now. Um, so we, we are able to largely um, um, manage um, whatever complaints, whatever requests, whatever, anything, anything that you have, um, anything that, you know, we can do to ensure that everything gets better, everything is better. Um, the next aspect is the fiduciary um, duty and confidentiality. Um, this ties to trust. Um, um, all our mentors will be dealing with entrepreneurs who are coming up with brilliant, innovative, disruptive ideas. Um, and we do not want to, because this is also something that can besmirch our name and we do not want a situation where you know a mentor goes out and maybe talks about our mentee's idea or their business process or just anything confidential um, from the foundation from the entrepreneur even from your fellow mentors um we are we are standing by um you know our word in saying that we will not tolerate it. Um, also, protection and use of information. Um, same thing as before, um, safeguarding everything. I understand that it's one thing to have um, information maybe lying somewhere on your laptop or something, um, or, um, you know, if you're in like your public place and you want to stand up and leave your laptop and you're chatting with your mentee or something, we ask that you just tell your mentee um, or the shadow or something and close the app or something because, um, we, we also still do not want to, we don't want to 
um, break the trust of our entrepreneurs. We do not want them to get hurt or anything like that. Um, also, relations relations with beneficiaries of the program. Um, this goes back to me saying that um, we would like for, in fact, not we would like for, we are mandating that you know all relationships between mentors and mentees remain strictly professional. Um, following the end of the program, if you wish to continue with uh, you know um, relations with them or relationship with them um, as friends, you know buddies, guys, you know um, that's fine. But you know we want to, we just want business to remain business, and because this can also cloud judgment, you know. Um, you know, seeing your friend, you know, maybe not actually meeting his goals and you're like, oh my God, like, you know what, let me just push this thing for you, you've met your goal, hey, well done. Um, no, we do not want that to happen because another thing is this mentorship program is very important for the entrepreneurs to actually go ahead and get further opportunities. If they have not been mentored, um, we are not going to actually source for opportunities for them. We will not present them for further opportunities or anything. So we do not want a situation where our mentors are, you know, um, they are they are making their judgments based on sentiments and so on. Um, then once again, duty to report. This ties into everything. Just reporting anything, just anything that seems out of place. We don't mind. We actually. We'll be very happy to check it out. We'll be very happy to, um, you know, inspect it and see what's happening. If maybe we invite you to an event at, here at the foundation and you see someone jumping over the fence into our compound, please just report. Um, because really, it's better to be careful than, um, you know, to be in danger or anything of the sort. And the last thing, and this is the most important thing, is responsiveness. Um, we are asking that, you know, our mentors should remain responsive to the foundation and their mentees. Um, I mean, this is also part of where trust comes in. We need to be able to know that we can rely on you. Um, our entrepreneurs also need to know that they can rely on you. And you all, I mean, um, body language is a thing. Um, first impressions are a thing. If your fellow mentor also um, has to have a meeting and you confirm um, that, okay, you know, I'm available on social day and you guys plan and you don't show up, you know, it's not, it's not, it doesn't speak so well of your character and, you know, that's not what we're looking for. We want, um, we want you to have that discipline um, to be able to stay responsive. Even if your response is, oh, okay, let me get back to you over the next couple of days or next week or so, please be responsive. Um, these areas um, just cover um, what the key qualities we want to, um, that we believe makes a good mentor. I wouldn't go so much into everything because um, I'm also going to be sharing all of this with you, but um, I'll just briefly mention them. So the first one is listening actively. Um, you all know that um, I really, the first thing, the the, uh, the first thing, the first thing that you know a conversation is always be about is someone listening. Someone has to listen while the other person talks. Um, two people cannot talk at the same time, and if you both are listening, then everybody's quiet. Listen actively, show interest, use your body language, and then try to be as responsive as possible. Um, the next aspect is building trust. You need to be trustworthy. No relationship can work um, if there's no trust. Even your organization will not, like even a bank will not give you a loan if they don't trust on some level that, okay, this person will pay you back. Yes, there's the collateral and all of that, but if they do some due diligence and they feel like they don't trust, they, um, they won't be able to move forward. The next aspect is um, determining goals and this has to do with um, even the first meeting from the first meeting when you first matched with your mentees um, take out time with them to go through their um, business plans and see the goals that they set up for themselves um, the all the business plans that our entrepreneurs provided um, was all the business plans our entrepreneurs provided um, they were required to map out their plans for the next five years. 
So you are just there to ensure that they get through the first year and they are laying in place foundations for um, achieving their goals over the next few years. Um, and then also breaking it down into milestones um, so, so that, you know, um, every, it, it, so that it doesn't look like one long stretch um, so that you can celebrate them, um, you can um, you can encourage them. As, like, even when they drop the ball, they know that, okay, I didn't make it this, um, this quarter, but next quarter, or next month, or next week, I will make it. Um, the next one is um, inspire and motivate. Um, this is something that I, I literally just spoke about this before this session. Um, you can't mentor someone if, if they're not inspired by you, if they're not motivated to either be like you or, uh, you know, do someone like you. You need to always watch your conduct and your behavior around your mentee. And really, this is by all the previous things uh, I listed before. Be an active listener, show that you're trustworthy, be goal-oriented. And the next, even the next point, which is which says be structured, be organized, um, and also be accountable. Hold your mentee accountable, but ensure that they are able to hold you accountable. Be you, you, these are part of the quality. In fact, these are the main qualities that make a good leader. You don't always have to um, know everything, be um, conversant with every topic on earth and all of that. But if you show that you have the discipline to do what you say you're going to do and also to show up when you say you're going to show up, you will be known as a person of integrity and who doesn't want to be like that in fact this this is what will even make the entrepreneur show up and they're like oh my god my mentor is you know waiting for me i know that i don't want to i don't want to break his trust i don't want to so we encourage that you ensure that you inspire from this place and the last aspect which i've kind of briefly touched on is being structured um so you need to in building a um in um, ensuring that you're able to properly mentor your entrepreneur, you need to structure everything. And this also even touches your personal life because um, you have your business or you have your work going on for you, but being matched to mentees from, uh, you know, across the world or in different uh, industries, if you prefer, who have similar interests. So you need to be able to um, organize every area of your life to ensure that you're not dropping balls anywhere and nothing is suffering. Um, so this is the last aspect, and um, uh, I'll just talk about what's, what's in it for us, the foundation. Um, quickly, the first part is, because people are always asking us why we're doing this, and um, um, as regards mentoring, um, for us, one is alumni engagement. Um, it's a way for us to ensure that our uh, alumni are still able to give back. And that's by helping other entrepreneurs, by giving back the empowerments that they have received from us. Um, the next aspect is impact assessment. So based on the reports that you're going to be providing, with our, um, providing to us, based on the feedback you're providing to us, we will be able to measure, um, you know, our, 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 or we'll be able to measure the impacts that we have made on the entrepreneurs. Then um, the next aspect is having a building a sustainable ecosystem. That is really what we're trying to do. If it's a cycle that gives on giving and making impact and keeps giving and making impact, Africa will be unstoppable. And you know, we want we want um, entrepreneurship can be like the next instead of having different religions can be entrepreneurship. You know, trade by bus and you know next book. We understand that this is one thing that entrepreneurship is critical to um, humans and um, civilization. So um, we want to build an, uh, a sustainable ecosystem to ensure one, uh, there's prosperity for all, two, we're able to improve the quality of lives of everyone around us, and three, everybody so that everybody will just be connected and fine um the last one is advancement um this is the this was for the aspects where i said you'll be able to boost your capabilities and so sorry my phone just went off you'll be able to boost your capabilities and um and this is by um further developing yourself learning from your mentee and even um helping to advance your mentee as well 
And then um, now we can go to TF Connect. So I'll just quickly run through um, the mentorship aspects of TF Connect. Yeah, um, so this is what the dashboard looks like. And before I go into this aspect, excuse me, please. <coughs> before I go into this aspect, um, I would like to mention that quite a number of you, uh, you have already been onboarded onto the platform. Um, you can just log in and click on forgot password. But um, also those of you that were alumni, and I'm so sorry about this, I don't know why I forgot. Those of you who are alumni, you because you already have an entrepreneur profile on TF Connect, you won't be able to log in. You have to use a new, um, you have to use a new email address for your mentor profile. So now you're going to have two profiles um, on TF Connect. Uh, apologies about this. We still are working on the um, the user experience to make a seamless transition between those two profiles. Um, we haven't really done this before, but we're learning from this and we're moving forward. So um, once you have a mentor profile and you get on the dashboard, you would see, if, if I say TF training, you see application means mentorship. So you click on mentorship, and this is the um, mentor end of the platform. So sorry, our internet seems to be too wonky. Yeah. Um, so yes, um, once you um, click on mentorship um, here, so right now uh, my profile is not, I haven't been matched with um, the max number of mentees that I can be matched with. So I can actually just click on find a mentee if I want to go and look for mentees and search for them um, um, based on their language, search for them based on um, their sector, their interests, and so on. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just go through this. Um, so the first aspect is um, your board. This is your dashboard. So um, you see goals completed, locked goals, and goals under review. So goals completed, when, when you first come on the platform, um, you already know who your mentees are because you've connected with them here. Um, you can either um, go into like the chat room and chat with your mentee. So this is here on the mentee. So you can just send your mentee a message here. So you send your mentee a message. You, you can ask for their, um, their business plan that they should share their business plan with you. If they're not able to, we can search for it. But because we have so many entrepreneurs, it's better for you to just um, ask for it. Um, you go through their goals and then you guys continue to have a discussion on what the goals, uh, what goals they want to achieve um, for the year or for the year runs out. And then you come here and you create a new goal. So you put a title here, maybe Q1 goal for, you put the mentee's name, you put a description of what it is supposed to be, the activities, all of that, the dates required, and then you assign it to the mentee, then you click on create goal. So once you do that, um, the first, the goal first goes under um, um, goal under review. So the mentee has to look at the goal and confirm that, okay, this is achievable. This is realistic. I can actually achieve it um, in the timeline that have been provided. And you know, once they agree, the mentee also agree, it becomes a locked goal. So you both, um, over time, every time you meet, you'll be able to um, review the locked goals. And once the goal is complete, um, you know, the mentee is able to click on complete and you also are able to agree and click on complete as well. 
So we have um, mental initiated goals. Um, so when you create a goal here, it to be mentor initiated. And when your mentee creates a goal, it to be mentee initiated. So you also be able to click on mentee initiated. So you can find any of your mentees and see which one. <laughs> and based on the mentee test that we're doing, how to be rich without working. <laughs> and it's what 29% complete. <laughs> That's a very interesting one. So we have that. Um, and then, um, like I said before, you are able to reveal your mentees. So um, first, you have the connection request. You have quite a number of people reaching out to you, um, but you can decide based on their interests and going through their profile, you can decide who you want to connect with. Um, we would also have um, surveys that we would um, um, sent to our mentors um, based on, we, we would like to get um, feedback from you over time, um, you know, just to know, um, it's kind of like a poll survey um, to understand your general sentiment about the program, um, how um, your engagement is or your connection is with your mentee, you're happy with it, uh, if something you do again, or if there are any areas you would like us to, um, um, will I say improve on? Um, then you can also set your availability, the days that you're available. If you don't want to be available over the weekend or you want to be available on um, only weekdays, you know, you can set your availability. And then um, on your calendar, when your entrepreneur also has a calendar, those days will be blocked out. The, your entrepreneur will not be able to um, schedule any meeting there. So this, um, once your entrepreneur schedules a meeting here, it actually prompts and goes to um, your, um, it, it, the TF kind of gives you a notification and goes to your email as well. So you can create an appointment for whenever you want to. Um, it's almost like, um, this is almost like um, the standard um, interface for when you want to create appointment, kind of like Outlook. Gmail. So title of appointment, description, then select mentee. Um, then obviously it's be an online appointment. So you click online appointment. And the one thing we don't have right now is that we don't have um, a video conferencing functionality here, but um, you can create one on Teams, you can create one anywhere and put the link here so that the entrepreneur can receive that link and you guys can um, meet on set dates, so start dates, end dates, start time, end time. Then when you're done, you book it. Um, you're able to see your received um, invitations, um, sent invitations, if you send any invitation, and that's, that literally is just all of it. Then, then FAQs, we haven't populated the FAQs. I don't even want to open that aspect because I'm not sure what we have forgotten there. But um, we have the FAQs. And to be very honest, this literally is all the platform is about. Like I said, we encourage that, you know, you meet with your mentees for a minimum of two hours a month. Um, but we, we also encourage that most of your, you try to ensure that most of your engagement is on the platform. So by chatting and if you want me to have video calls, I just showed you how to go about that. Um, so that is about it. Um, so we are ready to take questions. I will just um, pause for a second because I need to drink some water. I'll just pause for a second while you all gather your thoughts and we'll be able to take questions. I know I set the meeting up till um, five o'clock, but turns out we only have till four o'clock. I'm really sorry about that. Um, we still have another session that we need to run into, but um, I'll just um, give you all um, a minute so that we can take um, we can take um, if possible the first 10 questions um, that have come in how many questions have come in seven seven how many yeah. you guys have the same questions okay so we have seven questions now. Uh, that means we have space for three questions. Um, Pisa James, I've already noted you. Um, you're going to be the first person to ask a question. I remember seeing Adebisi's hand before, but I don't see it anymore. Um, I don't know if Adebisi still wants to ask a question, but the first three people, um, Pisa James is first, we'll take your questions, then we'll address the questions that came in via chat. So one second, please.
Okay, so I'm back. Um, okay, so I have Peter James and then I have Mary. Um, is there any other person, um, apart from the questions that have been um, written in the chat, is there any other person that would like to ask a question? Okay, so um, we will move forward then. Um, Peter, you can go ahead and ask your question. Peter, you, you're still muted. Peter, I can't hear you. You're still muted. Um, Peter, you need to unmute. Um, Peter, you need to um, unmute, please. You're still, you're, because um, I'm asking to unmute, but it's still showing me unmute. Okay, so let me just, let me, let me do it this way. Let me, okay, Peter, unmute yourself, please. Hello. Um, Mary, one second, please. I'm still trying to hear from Peter. Maybe. You guys need to stop me at Um, Peter, the functionality to mute yourself has been turned off. So please unmute. Okay, um, we, maybe Peter, maybe you can write um, your question um, in the chat. Um, Pius, can we please have your question? Okay, so um, good afternoon. So here's my question. For those of us that are alumni that already use um, this email, one email already, um, how do we get to use another email as mentors now? It, for the onboarding. So I know I've not received anything in that direction. So how do we get um, access to now use a new email to become mentors? Thank you. Thank you, Pius. So I'll, I'll just address that because I, I see that ADBC had that same question. I'll just address that. Um, it was one of the things I mentioned. Um, for alumni, because you already have a profile that is tied to entrepreneurship, um, you need to create a new email address if, or that's if you don't have another email address to create a mentor profile on the platform. And if you're not able to create a new profile, um, you can actually just send it to me. Um, so I would actually even in the email going out, I will add a link in there um, where you can um, put in this new um, email address that you have used to access um, or create a new profile, a mentor profile. Um, I hope that answers for all. It's um, it, onboarding as a mentor is just the same as onboarding as an entrepreneur, but you can, I will send out um, a link and um, you can just provide the new email address in there. All right, um, so Mary, you are next. Uh, uh, thank you. I have the same question, but I, I as in my previous profile, I've been able to log in as a mentor. In fact, as you are going through the all the the, the various parts, the, my board, my mentees, service, my set availability, I could do that on my profile. But I cannot be able to access a mentor. I cannot find a mentor. It's blank. Is that going to happen? Sorry, later? sorry. Can you repeat that I question, cannot... please? 
I'm saying as with my previous profile mm -hmm. as an alumni, I can be able to access the mentorship profile, the mentorship part, just the way you are showing us. You know, the way you took us all through, I can be able to access that. All the, the, all the, various the thing is you're accessing it as a mentee. So you need to create a new profile, mental profile. It, but it says mentorship. Sorry? It says mentorship. It's on the problem. Yes. The, the so mentorship encompasses mentor and mentee. So oh. the alumni will also see mentorship. Alumni will always see mentorship. Now, when they go in, any alumni profile will be a mentee. So you need to create a mentor profile, a new profile as a mentor. All right, no problem. Okay, yeah. No problem, then they get it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mary. Um, so we have Israel next. Mary, please, can you? Okay, please. all right, thank you. We have Israel next. Uh, quick question. Like, I'm not an alumni, but I've logged into the system, but I'm having the same issue as well. I see myself, I see I have an, uh, an entrepreneur profile and I'm trying to figure out how to get out of that. Do I have to go create a new email now and uh, you know, go yeah. through the same process or? Uh, well, the mental onboarding is actually different, but you can actually create a new process. And like I said, I'm going to send out a link anyways. You can create a new process, go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm also going to send out a link where we can get the email addresses of everyone who has, um, who has an entrepreneur profile. The story that I keep saying alumni, I keep using the word alumni, yes, but an alumni is an entrepreneur, um, a past beneficiary of the foundation. So if you've ever signed up with, and you clicked on entrepreneur, that, that's a different route. Um, so clicking on mentor takes you in a different place. Um, so yeah, you would need to um, have a new email address. Thank okay. you. Okay, so um, I think we can have Jeremiah. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, quite a nice experience though, but mine is that the last time we had a, a meeting, I was still expecting the Telegram group. We're told that the profile were being created. We've not received the email concerning the profile. For me, that's important so that I can leave that Telegram group if it's is too much we need to know okay so um i would say about the telegram group we are still very um we are still very um um we're still having debates in-house i would say um do we want telegram group do we want tf connect how do we want to do it how do we want to manage it um which is why we were waiting for tf to be a bit better resource before um having it because to be very honest like i feel like i explained this like over and over again that the reason i send emails is because I, i'm not able to um you know respond to everybody um but now that you know we have more people on board um, we can now create the telegram groups in the different languages and um, share the link with everyone. Um, but it's still it's still on the um, everything we do here has to go so we don't just do things on whim. Um, it's still being deliberated, it's still being decided on but I assure you that once there's a new group, um, this current group will be taken down and the new group will be the one we would focus on. We're still trying to see how we can migrate everyone, um, you know, send everyone messages because you know how you can join Telegram group without showing your number. Yeah, so we're still trying to do that, but um, we assure you that, you know, um, we will share the, group, the link to the group once it's ready. Um, okay, so the next person, sorry, someone is unmuted, I don't remember. Okay, so um, the next person is Edwin. Um, Edwin, please, can you unmute yourself?
All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, my, my question is, how will we be reporting to the foundation on the progress of mentee? Um, so that was the um, aspects I showed um, on the platform, the part that says um, surveys. Um, so we have, um, we have questions or we, we, we create questions that are designed to help us understand what is going on in your relationship with the mentees, progress of the mentee. And we actually do it in a 360 way because um, we mentors will review each other, mentees will review each other, mentees will also review their mentors in different ways. So um, that functionality is on the platform. Um, I went through that when I was um, going through the platform, but um, I'm sure over time, when you get more um, familiar with the platform, you'll be able to see it. Right now it's not populated um, because we would I sometimes put up um, questions, take them down, put up questions, take them down. And if we have to use another channel, we'll use another channel, but we will be getting um, periodic um, updates from our mentees and our mentors. All right, thank you. One more question, please. Yes, please. All right, do we have um, a time frame for engaging with mentees? Maybe like uh, a year or two, or it can can be decided by the mentor themselves. Um, no, it's not decided by the mentor. It's decided by the foundation. Um, the engagement is going to run till the end of this year. It's actually for a year. We're not sure we're going to extend it to Q1. Um, but the reason why there has been such a delay is because even till now, um, we haven't been able to fund or pay all our entrepreneurs for various reasons. So um, policies, um, wrong details being provided and so on. And we wanted to import them, which is why there has been a delay. So we might end this in December or we might extend till um till March next year, but it's um for a duration of one year and the minimum engagement um uh, time frame required monthly is two hours. All right, thank you. Um okay, I have each room. Okay, hi Mo. Um a quick hi, question. Jerome. Um regarding what you said about the um, profile, right? I was able to log in and um, I see that my profile there shows as a profile category of a mentor. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to reconfirm. Are you saying we should still ignore this one? And go no, and no, no. That means you're fine. Um, that means we were able to successfully onboard you. So you're fine. You can. Okay, that's... Yeah. Yeah. You are fine. So you don't need to. You, now we're just waiting for mentees to come on board. Um, we plan to onboard them tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Richard. Um, okay, we have Francis. Sorry, you've not said anything concerning the profile that was supposed to be created. I asked that question. The profile that what? The profiles that were supposed to be created. The last question we had, you said that our profiles were recreated and we'll go to get the link. I've not gotten that till yes, now. Yes, so... um. Profiles have been created. Um, we did not send links. We a newsletter was sent out um, just saying that you know profiles have been created, but not everyone um, was onboarded. So if you haven't been onboarded, you just go on the platform and um, create a mentor profile. The reason why not everyone was onboarded is because um, some people already have profiles that are entrepreneur um, profiles, but you can still go on the platform. And when you get on the platform and you're signing up with a new email address, you just click on mentor. Okay, that's clear, thank you. Can I throw in a, can I throw in a question, please? Sorry, uh, who's speaking? Fati, Gambia. Okay, hi, Fati. Yeah, the question, uh, thank you, Moyo. Uh, the, the question is, uh, us that are already mentors, um, uh, we've done the uh, video judging, if we, are, we are judges. I think the, the platform is already there for us to just log into our, and access our provider, right? Yes, it is. Confirm. Okay. Yes, it is. is. 
Um, so I will, I'll be taking my last question from Sonia, then I will address um, the other questions that are written if they're not the same questions. Um, okay, hi Sonia. Barely. It sounds like you are across the room from your device. Um, okay, let's let's try this. Okay. Can you hear me better? Yes, 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 I can. So my question is: um, Is there any form of training, uh, um, a handbook that I'm an alumni for last year, so I'm just doing this for the first time. So is there any form of training that we are going to receive as regarding to the mentorship program? Yes, um, that's that's actually a brilliant question, Sonia. Brilliant. <laughs> so we are actually, um, that, that's the aspect where I said we're going to be helping you boost your capabilities. Um, we're going to be having different sessions, master classes. Um, we're going to be looking up resources, you know, just to ensure that you are able to have the skills, the right skills, the soft skills required to, um, you know, help you um, lead someone, guide someone, manage, um, you know, the next person. So we will be providing you with all of that. Um, but, um, you know, it will just be left to you to be responsive. Um, we would um, ask that, you know, please just, um, um, please just, um, you know, read um, newsletters that come from me. And if you haven't seen any of my newsletters, but I'm sure all of you that are here have seen my newsletters, but if anyone you know um, that is a mentor on this program hasn't seen any of my newsletters, please ask them to check their spam and their junk and move my emails, move at least three of my emails to their inbox. Um, that will teach the, um, the server to stop sending my mailbox spam, but we will send, send out to resources, information and so on. Um, I saw some, sorry? The question about the profile, I actually created a new profile on mm -hmm. then it's in nature, but the sessions that I saw when you displayed when you shared the screen, I'm not seeing those functionalities on mine. Yes. When I um so first of all until the mentees are onboarded. We've turned the um, mentorship aspects off briefly um, to successfully onboard the mentees because we don't, we don't want to break anything back end. Until the mentees are fully onboarded tomorrow, um, it's not going to be ready. But I would even say that um, we may not even um, send out the, it's going to come out to you um, via mail as well, that the mentorship platform is on. We are, like I said, we are still struggling with a lot of aspects with our entrepreneurs, but once we are able to successfully onboard all of them, we would, um, we would bring, or we will put the platform back on because I, let me just explain this. The way it works is that once you start to match, um, once you match to your maximum number of uh, mentees, you disappear. And if we now add other mentees later, that would be very unfair. And I mean, what if you're not like a good match with the person? So we want to make sure that everybody has a fair advantage of being able to match with every mentor on the platform. So until we're able to put all of them on board, we cannot turn it on because that would be very unfair. Well, lastly, the PDF is, today. is it possible you share it with us? So Sorry. Oh yes. No. Oh, this is the handbook. It's, it's actually even going to be um, it's going to be expounded on some more actually. Then turned into PDF so that I can share it easily. That's the handbook that I'm going to share with all. So um, I don't know um, how many people were you know part of the mental guild last year. I also shared like documents like this. Um, it's really just very helpful. Um, don't worry. It's going to be shared with all. You're welcome. Um, okay, uh, Israel and um, Israel, I already addressed the question. Do you have any question or is that? Yes, uh, more, um, um, you see the problem with my profile is this. I've never been an entrepreneur. I've, I signed up as a mentor and I was a mentor like all of last year. Uh, so I was a judge and all of that, but on signing into my profile, like now, while we're going through all of this, uh, it's showing me it's showing me up as an entrepreneur. So is that something I'm going to have to fix? Or is that something you're going to have to fix? 
Mm, it's not something we can fix back end, but I'm wondering how that happened. Um, but all, although last year there was no mentorship, so it's possible that you may have created an entrepreneur profile, but not necessarily going through the entrepreneurship program or anything. So it's possible that you may have created an entrepreneur profile and just, um, you know, moved forward, um, you know, to engage. Most of our engagements was done offline. Um, the TF Connect that we used was a different TF Connect for the pitching competition. So you didn't okay. even need to have a mental profile then. So it's possible that that happened when you were signing up, but you can just create a new mental profile. Okay, not a problem. We'll do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, fortunate. Uh, we're taking the last question from you. Um, fortunate. Okay, um, so since we can't hear from Fortunate, um, so I'll just address some of the questions that came up while I was um, speaking. I'll just go through them. Um, so I already addressed the question of um, receiving the handbook. So yes, um, um, we're going to receive the handbook. The, I already addressed the Telegram group. Um, the recording, um, the link, the, the actual link that came in that confirmation email also had the link to the YouTube um, page, but um, you can also get the link again. Um, um, Katuma asked for the presentation, but in French. Um, that may come a bit later than the others, but we are going to provide it to you in French, Portuguese, and Arabic, as we always do. Um, yes, and then... Um, someone I already addressed the, the mentorship duration, um, access to the platform. Um, you just if you we're not going to give you access to, or give you a link or anything like that. We are asking that you go onto the platform. Um, if you already, um, you should go onto the platform um, and try and log in. If you cannot log in, um, if you click on forgot password and you can't log in, that means you have an entrepreneur account. If you're an, an alumni, um, you will need to create um, a mentor account. But if you're not an alumni, just go ahead and just um, click on forgot password with your email address. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so um, someone asked, I no longer have access to the pitching platform. Uh, the pitching competition ended last year, <laughs> but um, I think that's about it. Um, yes, yeah, so someone asked, can you use a different email? Yes, you can use a different email address to create a mental profile. I definitely would have to send you all emails um, around that so that we can uh, ensure we have it. Um, please confirm what the timetable is for as um, for our work as mentors. The program ends this year, but um, between mentors and mentees, you both parties are advised to create the timetable that works best for them. We are not going to dictate anything. We're not going to, um, um, you know, set up anything for you. You, you and your mentees, your your mentors, your leaders. You're going to create that structure. You're going to create the schedule, the calendar between you and your mentees. Um, any questions? Um, Jonathan, um, you said you're unable to sign into TF account. You sent an email but received no response. Um, if you're unable to sign in, you just click on forgot password um, and it would send an email. At that point, if you don't have an account with that email address, it will let you know that you don't have an account. Um, and then you can create a mentor profile. Um, Bruno wants to know when we are um, starting. Um, so like I mentioned, we want to ensure that all the entrepreneurs, the, to be very honest, we actually give ourselves a deadline of today, but even as of today, um, we're still having issues um, ensuring that all our entrepreneurs are um, become um, alumni because the entrepreneurs cannot, um, they can't get to the mentorship aspect if they do not um, provide a receipt of their seed capital. So until they're all paid, and we don't want a situation where 
um, you know, some mentees are already matched with mentors and then others come on board. We don't have mentors or, you know, they are very, their choices are very limited. We want to ensure that everyone, just as we democratize work with everything else, we want to democratize this aspect as well. So we, we are not starting until every entrepreneur has the chance to match with a mentor that best fits their profile. But we are, we are really, really, working on it like we're really really trying to ensure that everyone is paid um so i think that's about it um, um we have 10 minutes to our um our next um session that we have here but um israel is that an old hand or a new hand must be an old hand I think okay. I better take this down okay. okay all right um so i'll just say thank you to everyone thank you for joining us today um thank you thank you thank you very much um our entrepreneurs i promise you are going to give you the best time they are actually these entrepreneurs are actually amazing and um, i look forward to watching you all um, engage with each other and learn from each other so thank you once again everyone um for for joining us and uh have a great day yeah thank you very much Moya. have a nice day everyone hi everyone <laughs>